What's up everybody, Brian here. If you're new to my channel, I sell used clothing full-time on eBay. Today I'm gonna go over my sales for the weekend. It's 26 sales for about $700. Now, $700 for a weekend is pretty low for me, uh, but I did go on vacation. I didn't list for about four days, so definitely my sales have dropped. That's just the name of the game. So I'm gonna start listing every day again, and hopefully my store will come alive again. Now, if you are a reseller yourself, I'm wondering what your average profit per item is. For me personally, it's about $11.50 right now, but there are items that I throw out because they end up having a flaw or something that I didn't see. So it's actually probably closer to about $10, which is okay with me. I, uh, actually, I'm really happy with that. I want to basically stay above $10 uh, is my goal for my business. Wondering what kind of profit you guys are trying to get for your items, please let me know. First up, we have this Fossey Nab shirt. Size large, sold for $5.38. It's like a green plaid. This brand does pretty okay for me. It sells for about that much, not much more. Obviously the bigger sizes are gonna do much better, uh, but they do take a little bit to sell. This one had a good pattern. It sold, but not for a ton of money. But if I can get it for the right price, I'm picking these up all day long. Next up, we have this Ruka flannel that sold for uh, 26 bucks plus $6 shipping. The pattern, if you can see it, I feel like it's pretty in style. I think that's what really uh, sold it. The brand's okay. Um, for the, those of you that don't know, it's like RVCA, call it Ruka. Uh, yeah, I don't know, pretty good brand. Nothing crazy though, but it's a flannel. It's a good size, size large, and it's just kind of an in-style pattern. So yeah, it's kind of really what sold it there. All right, next up we have this Carhartt 2XL button-up shirt. It is the relaxed fit pretty good pattern and a good size sold for $20 plus $6 shipping and I believe I paid $5 for it. All right this is a pair of Patagonia pants women size 10. They are it's like a hemp blend material. Uh, it sold for $23? $23 plus $9 shipping. Uh, Patagonia pretty much always does well for me. Uh, sometimes it doesn't go for a ton of money but and so the hemp, a lot of time, doesn't go for a ton of money too, especially like the hemp shirts. Uh, but they sold fairly quickly for good money. All right, next up we have a pair of the Lululemon ABC pants, size 31, and they sold for $45 plus $9 shipping. Uh, that's about how much I usually get for these. Uh, Lululemon men's pants do very well. Um, if you don't know like the kinds of pants they are, um, they only have like a few lines so you can just look them up look through all the items and kind of find the exact one and then um, you can you know they might be like abc pants or commission pants or whatever uh, but you do want to find the actual model number to get that sort of price did i say model number i meant model the model whatever the model is called i charged them nine dollars for shipping but uh, it is going first class so it's gonna cost me or it did cost me six dollars and like 20 cents to ship out All right, we got this uh, Vineyard Vines button-up, size large, good pattern, sold for 22 plus six. Uh, pretty bread and butter, but I don't know, this brand's a little odd. Sometimes it takes a long time to sell, sometimes it doesn't. This one uh, sold very quickly. Uh, took a best offer or sent out an offer and got pretty decent money for it. All right, we have this Jane Barnes shirt. Sold for $10 plus $6 shipping, size XL. This brand does well for me, but these normal colors, like this is just white with blue stripes, uh, those don't do quite as well. A lot, this brand sells a lot of uh, shirts that have crazy like geometric patterns and stuff like that. Those are really the ones that are gonna go for money. So it's not necessarily the brand name that does well, it's really the fact that the shirts are just crazy and this one isn't crazy. So yeah, only sold for 16 bucks. Um, took a little bit of time to sell, but not too bad, uh, but still made some profit on it and I am happy about that. You're gonna find these a lot in my store. Tori Richard, size large, floral pattern, cotton lawn, or no, no it is cotton lawn uh, material. Sold for $19 plus $6 shipping. These sell all the time for me around that price. Sometimes more if it's a cooler pattern. This one isn't super colorful. Otherwise, uh, I'll get a few more dollars for them. All right, next up we have this Tommy Bahama medium shirt. This one has been sitting in my store forever. I don't know if you guys saw, 
but I had to go through that bin back there because it's not even in my new inventory system. It's a super old item, finally like lowered the price and it sold for $8 plus $6 shipping. Still profited on it, probably picked it up for $5 or maybe even less and sold for what, $14 shipped. And it's gonna cost me about $4.50 to ship out. So I made a couple dollars or whatever, but really happy to see it go finally. Next up, we have this uh, vintage Eli Cattleman medium shirt. Sold for $16.24 plus $6 shipping. Uh, yeah, usually pick these up for four or five bucks. And they go for about that much, a lot of time, a little bit more. This one's only size medium. Obviously, if it's like XL or something like that, I'm going to get a uh, better price for them. This one was a good pattern, I think, which is why I still picked it up in size medium. But you want to make sure you get the ones with the pearl snaps. Let's like see. But you want to get those. Um, if it's just like a button shirt, you don't want to get those. You want to get the Western Pearl Snaps. And you also want to make sure they're vintage. This brand doesn't, uh, personally, doesn't do well for me if it's like the newer tags. But these really like old tags, those are the ones that kind of sell. So. All right, next up we have this Duluth sweatshirt size 2XL. Took forever to sell, only for $11 plus, is it six or nine? Plus $9 shipping. So a little better than I thought, but yeah, not a great sell there. Took forever. Um, Duluth's kind of a weird one. Sometimes some stuff sells very um, well, sometimes it doesn't. I think it just wasn't a very desirable item. It was a 2XL, so I think that's probably why I picked it up. I also think I got it for cheap. I want to say I got it on dollar day or half off or something, so that's probably why I picked it up. All right, we have this Ramona rule dress. Uh, vintage dress. I just saw this off a new rack and just thought it was super cool. I could tell it was vintage, it was old. Um, decided to look it up and turns out they go for a lot of money. Uh, some of them go for more. This one sold for 44 plus nine and then it got returned to me. Listed it, sold pretty quickly for 40 plus nine. Yeah, it's not like I knew what this brand was or anything like that. It's just like, I'm looking through the racks, caught my eye, cool item, vintage. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, turns out it's worth money. All right, we have these cinch white label jeans. That's 30, 34. That sold for 25 plus $9 shipping. The white label does pretty well. Um, and then I believe, what else does well? I think the green label does okay. There's some ones that don't do so well, like the silver label, uh, but it's just like, I can't see it on here, but on the pocket and then also on the inside zipper, there'll be just like a color. And that's the, that's the label that it is. I know when I first started out selling cinch, I didn't really understand that. Um, cause there's no like cut. It doesn't say like standard fit or relaxed fit, but it's just like, it goes by the colors. Look at the color and then look those up and check out the data for yourself. All right. We have this carbon two cobalt size, large V-neck t-shirt sold for $13 plus $6 shipping. Pretty good brand. Uh, but it's just a t-shirt. I want to say I paid less than $5 for this, probably like three or four. So decent profit, but, uh, the brand's pretty good. Just not really the shirts. I would say more of their like Henleys, um, like thick sweaters, like Henley sweaters and stuff like that. They have some pretty crazy items, but their shirts, not so much. All right, we have this Penguin, original Penguin polo, size medium. Actually pretty surprised, sold for $16 plus six. Uh, their button ups do pretty well for me, like the Heritage Slim Fit ones, and if they're in a bigger size. This one isn't like a super, you can see, it's not like a super crazy pattern. It's only size medium, but still sold pretty well. Uh, I guess it's just, you know, I mean, it's in perfect condition. It's nice and crisp. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty kind of surprised, but I'm happy about that. $6 plus, or $16 plus $6 shipping. This is a pair of Joe's jeans, size 34. Sold for $16 plus nine. I want to say I got these for really cheap. One to $3, I think. So I wouldn't normally pay, you know, full price for one of these. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I gotta do more data on this brand. I haven't sold a lot of it. I really need to look more into it. Let me know what you guys think. All right, next up we have this Vince women's sweater. Uh, it's wool and I picked this up at the bins, size small, so uh, pretty light too. So probably for about a dollar and yeah, sold for $17 plus $6 shipping. So $1 into, what is that, 23? So yeah, very good sale there. Love these little uh, bins pickups. Bins pickups. Vince is a pretty good brand for both men's and women's. I think the reason why I just didn't go for more is just because the size is small. I don't know. I think men's Vince does better too. I mean, it's not like a crazy good brand, but um, generally I can get more money for it if it's a bigger size. That's all I'm saying. 
All right, this is a Santa Cruz uh, t-shirt, size XL, and sold for $10 plus $6 shipping. This is like a graphic print t-shirt. I was hoping to get more for it, but I picked it up for a dollar at the bins, or roughly a dollar at the bins, so still happy about it, but I think I was hoping to at least get like 14 or 15 plus six, but this works, good sell there. Banana Republic button-up shirt size large, took forever to sell, sold for $12 plus $6 shipping. And yeah, I don't sell this brand at all anymore. This is just an old listing. I used to pick them up more. I feel like back in the day, they used to kind of sell. Now they don't really. Uh, I might consider reviving this brand if I pick them up at like garage sales for like a dollar or less, or if I can pick up like two for a dollar or something like that. Um, I might consider picking them up again. Cause I mean, the fact that I got 18 bucks for it, like that's not bad. So if I can pick them up for really cheap, it might still be worth it. Um, obviously you know, it depends on the pattern, the size, all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't know, considering reviving this one, if it, uh, if I can get it for cheap enough. I just usually can't get them for cheap, I feel like, but we'll see. Brooks Brothers, size large, Regent Fit, nice blue plaid, uh, button-up shirt, sold for $16 plus six, sell these all day in my store. All right, next one, I actually pro I listed these, picked these up and listed these the same day. Took a while, but they both sold on the same day to different people. I was like looking back, I was like, oh, did it? Was this supposed to be like sent to the same person? But no, somebody else just bought it, happened to be at the same time. One probably sold and the algorithm picked it up. Hey, this guy sells Brooks Brothers shirts and then this one sold. So um, a little bit better of a pattern here. How much did this one sell for? 15 plus six, so now I'm actually a little bit less. But same thing, large regen fit. All right, happy to see this one go. It's an Oak Hill sweater. It's size 3XL. Takes up, a lot, as you can see, a lot of space in my box. So whenever big stuff like this uh, sells, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I picked this up only because it was a dollar. It was on dollar day and sold for $20 plus nine. So great sale there. It does take up a lot of space. It didn't take too long to sell. So yeah, happy with that sale right there. All right, this is an L. Bean button-up shirt. Uh, it's vented, so people like to take these on their fishing trips and whatnot. It didn't sell for a ton of money. Uh, $15 plus six, actually not bad, but it did take a long time to sell. L. L. Bean is one that I don't really pick up that often anymore, like I used to. Uh, yeah, it just takes a long time to sell. Uh, but the fact that it was nylon and vented, um, I would still take shots on these ones, these uh, fishing shirts. All right, next up we have this Lululemon Polo, size medium. Took a long time to sell for 25 plus six. I probably just had a price too high. Generally, Lulu, anything Lululemon men's it does well for me. Could have been an older style too, I'm not sure. Their tops, I feel like their older styles aren't very good and their new ones are a lot better. So maybe that's it, I'm not really sure. But still got a decent amount of money for it. All right, this is a Katina Marie shirt that sold for $8 plus six. Honestly, this was a mistake. I think it, I think I mistaked it for another brand. Um, mistook it, mistake, I don't know. But yeah, it had a cool pattern. I, and it said made in USA, and I think I just thought it was a different brand, I'm not sure. So I uh, picked it up, happy to see it go. I think when I listed it, I was like, oh no, this is a mistake. But I eventually sold, probably made a dollar or two on it or something. I don't know, maybe like two, two bucks on it. So yeah, not a great sale, this was a mistake. Next, or last but not least, we have this Carhartt pants by size 42, 30, and it is new with tags. It's the Rugged Flex. Uh, didn't go over a ton of money. Can't really remember what I picked these up for. I can't imagine it was super cheap because it's new with tags, but I'm not sure. So probably not the greatest sale, uh, but still made the profit on it, and I'm okay with that. All right, I only have about one or two boxes left at the photo station, so I need to make some more. So I'm gonna tape up these boxes, uh, order some more, I'm gonna go thrifting for some more items here and then uh, edit this video and that'll be the day for me. So uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm almost monetized. So these videos will start paying for my Chipotle lunch burritos. Please like and subscribe, have a good one, bye.